Well, a week after sweeping Minnesota Duluth, the Wisconsin Badgers welcomed Clarkson to town last weekend, a top 10 team. The Golden Knights won on Friday night 4-0. The Badgers won on Saturday night 4-3 in dramatic fashion. This weekend, Wisconsin opens Big Ten play on the road against the team that league coaches picked to win the conference championship, the Penn State Nittany Lions. I'm Brian Posick, and head coach Tony Granato joins us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. around the defenseman. Here comes Roman Deshaun, two on one, thought about shooting. Now what's he going to do? He tries a backhand. Back. Score! A 4-3 Wisconsin lead with 6.1 left on the clock. Well, Tony, we knew Clarkson was going to be a pretty good team. I think they're going to really contend in the ECAC again. They've been to the NCAA tournament each of the last two years. And their goaltender, Frank Marat, was really good on Friday and made 38 saves. But your boys came back. It was a scoreless first period on Saturday. Three goals in a row in five minutes. And you have the lead. They came back. And then you get an exciting ending with Owen Lindmark finishing off a play from Roman Ashan. But that's a good bounce back win for a young team learning how to continue to play the way you'd like them to play. Yeah, it was really important we found a way to come back and win that one. Obviously, going into Friday's game, coming off of the sweep of Duluth, we were feeling really good about ourselves. We jumped way up in the standings, and and I think we just kind of expected to keep rolling. And then when you play a team like Clarkson, uh, who is an experienced team, they were much older um, and bigger, especially at the back end, and they have an identity of how they play, um, no matter what the score is, no matter where they're playing, no matter what the period is. And they did that to us on Friday night. And I know we had a great start. We had four or five great chances in the first period where, like you said, their goalie made sensational saves. And then from that, we kind of got away from it. We tried to you know, do things a little bit differently to try to get more opportunities. And, and what they did was stayed with their game plan longer than we did. So credit to them being a more experienced team and a, and a team that, uh, like I said, has an identity that they play to, which was uh, why they've been in the tournament two years in a row and why they'll probably be again in the tournament this year. But, but the bounce back win on Saturday was sensational. Um, they came back and, and tied us, but you saw our resiliency of, of finding a way to get back uh, on the attack and score a goal late in the game. And, and you know, Roman Ashan, we can't say enough about his performance all year long, but in that particular game, um, you know, you saw him, you know, take some leadership on himself to say, hey, listen, we're not losing this game. And he made a great play that, uh, that, like you said, Owen was able to finish off. And I think uh, uh, for us, it was a huge win. It's a huge win uh, from a confidence standpoint, but also from a, uh, a standpoint of building, um, you know, uh, I guess more players in our lineup that are able to contribute at big times. And certainly Roman has been one of those guys that's been on that floor so far this year. Yeah, Roman had a goal and four points on Saturday night. He was the number one star. Usually when you score the game winner, you're the number one star. Owen Lindmark got number two. But Owen's been very good for Wisconsin. Four goals, seven points in his first six games as a freshman. Let's take two minutes with Owen Lindmark. Before we talk about hockey, what's it been like being a freshman on the University of Wisconsin campus? Uh, it's been awesome. Uh, you know, there's everything I hope for and even more. Um, you know, the people here are awesome, um, making a lot of new friends, and then, uh, you know, there's nothing more you can ask for out of the campus, honestly. It's been awesome. Yeah, you're from Naperville, Illinois, mm -hmm. so right down the road. Did you always want to be a Badger, or was there some convincing going on? Um, no, as soon as I, you know, visited here, I knew that I wanted to be a Badger, so. Um, you know, I committed here the summer after my freshman year, so I've been looking forward to this moment for a long time, and uh, I'm super excited that it's finally come true. Yeah, you played a couple of years with the United States National Team Development Program. What was that experience like? That was awesome. Uh, you know, playing with the best players in the world uh, for two years, it uh, definitely helped my game grow a lot, and then, you know, just it helped me grow as a person as well. Um, you know, great, great coaching staff, great, uh, you know, staff all around, and um, you know, I'm really thankful for those two years. Yeah. You could have gone the USHL route mm -hmm. and maybe your numbers would have been more eye popping. You know, things yeah. could have been different. Uh -huh. Did you consider that at all? No, I think, um, you know, obviously, like, um, you know, that was always a possibility. But I think at the end of the day, I wanted to represent my country. Um, my dad was in the Air Force for 21 years. So, you know, he was representing, uh, you know, the country overseas. So I thought that, um, you know, that would be pretty cool of me. Um, you know, there's no better honor. Sure. 
So your dad's a pilot. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be a pilot someday? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, you know, as much as, uh, you know, how cool the job it is, I'm kind of looking somewhere in the business route. Uh, I have no clue what I'm going to major in yet. But uh, hopefully that comes uh, clear pretty soon here in the next couple months or so. Yeah. How about public speaking? Because from what I understand, uh, when you came on campus, you spoke to 1,500, <laughs> 2,000 freshmen at a gathering before the year began, is that right? Yeah, uh, I kind of got elected by the other freshmen, uh, Tony as well, but um, no, that was that was a really cool moment. It was kind of just, uh, you know, a publicity event um, for, you know, all the incoming freshmen. They were at Camp Randall, so we all went out there, um, you know, told them to come out to the Cole Center and, um, you know, hopefully they keep coming out and uh, more keep coming out, so... Yeah, they've been on this crease creatures have been awesome this year, so. The Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through the directorscup.com, USA Today, or L Directors Cup on Twitter. Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. We heard from Owen Lindmark a moment ago, and you know, here's a young man that maybe didn't get the limelight that Cole Caulfield and Alex Turcott, among others, got with a national team development program. But if you like good, solid, 200-foot hockey players, Owen Lindmark fits that bill, doesn't he? He does, and uh, and I've compared him to Ty Emerson. And Ty Emerson, obviously, is a defenseman, but in the U.S. program, he was behind Hughes and Miller and Wild and a bunch of different guys, and he kind of got under the radar for NHL draft things, and he dropped to the third round and. It's similar to what the situation Owen was just in. He's playing behind Turcotte and Caulfield and Hughes and all of these high-end skilled players. But he just plays the game the right way. And he's, he plays the game that he'll accept any role and, and do it well. And I think that's what he's been for us up front so far this year. Obviously, you know, I don't think anyone expected him to be able to come in and contribute offensively the way he has. But he's a very skilled kid. He's a very confident kid. And he's a worker. Mm -hmm. And uh, you put all three of those things together, you're going to have success. And it's been a great to watch him play so far. Yeah, and with the help of Owen and Roman, among others, the team's penalty kill is better than 90%. That's greatly improved from a year ago, isn't it? Yeah, and I think, you know, we paid, a, we paid the dues last year of playing a bunch of young forwards, especially uh, on the PK unit. Those guys are more experienced now, and of course experience means a lot at anything you do, and, and I think they've, they've done well. The other thing is Daniel's been really solid. When your goaltender is, is as solid as he's been through the first six games, that's going to help your PK numbers. Uh, but I think we're better on face-offs. I think our, our pairs have, have complemented each other um, better than they did last year, and so far we're off to a good start. Yeah, and Daniel Lebedev, last four games, the save percentage is about 9-10. You'll take that every time. And now you open Big Ten play on the road against Penn State, a team that ended your season a year ago. You've got a lot of new faces. They don't. It's virtually the entire team back for Guy Godowski, and we both know how they play. They're going to run and gun. It's going to be fun. I mean, <laughs> we had the phenomenal playoff series. You go to game three. It's an overtime game that, you know, pucks, you know, go back and forth, and, and it looks like one team is going to win. It looks like the other team is going to win. I think that that's the type of game you're going to have. You know, we don't want to open it up and make it a 9-8 game, but, you know, in that building with how they play, um, the stinger we are defensively, the more we'll have offensively. And, and uh, you know, obviously they, they're an experienced team, like you said. Um, they know how to play. They know what their coach is looking for on how they play. They have an identity, which is way different than Clarkson's identity. Mm -hmm. But what we have to be is really alert defensively. They're a team that's going to consistently have players behind us and look for long plays, for breakaways. Um, and, you know, we have to be, you know, like just really sharp. If we're sharp mentally as far as knowing, you know, what to expect, I think we'll have some success there. All right, have fun with it. We'll do. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, sure, that's Tony Grotto, Badgers head coach. Wisconsin and Penn State open the Big Ten season Thursday night, 6 o'clock Central Time, Friday night at 5 o'clock. Both games are on the Big Ten Network and both games on the Badgers Sports Network and the iHeart Radio app. For Tony Granado, Jay Williams, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.